grid, right? Maybe not so much. <laughs> Sometimes living off the grid means not being as healthy as I recently found out. Starry recently told me this. So Starry, what's your advice for living off grid but still keeping healthy at the same time? This is a really um, important topic for me because obviously of my nursing background, because I do have cancer and um, I've had, I lived off the grid that really bad accident, a lot of life changing things. And even since my divorce, I have tried to live that sustainable lifestyle, but there's been one, one health crisis after another. And so what it has taught me is that we can have the biggest pantry, we can have all the firewood in the world, we can have great solar setup, but if we don't have our health, what do we have, right? So I believe that my temple belongs to God and that I should honor it. And, and part of that success in living off the grid is really looking at myself in a very different way. And I think one of the, the saddest things is when I see people who are living off the grid and they're eating really poorly. They work hard, but they come home and they're eating terrible food, processed food. And, you know, um, it really defeats the purpose. We continue, continue with our vices, and we all have vices. You know, some of us are addicted to sugar. Some of us are addicted to alcohol. Some of us are still smoking. Some of us just have really bad habits. But if you, if you want to have the sustainable life, the first thing that needs to be sustainable is your body I mean, and your health. And if you can't sustain that, all of the perks, like I just said, they're not going to cut it. So um, just very simply, and I won't get too, too much into this, but when people see me, I'm very, very active. And one of the things with being diagnosed with cancer, and I think that really saved me, is that I had lived a very active life. Now, I had made bad food choices, and I've cut those out now. But, um, you know, when people say, well, you know, I'm in the garden all day, or I'm out splitting wood, that's great. That's really good. But I even know as a physical fitness instructor that you need sustained activity. You really need to exercise. And that means ha having an effort where your heart rate is going to be raised for so many minutes. And then you rest and you raise it again and you rest and you raise it again. So active exercise is very important. I tell women you should start weightlifting because we have a tendency to get osteoporosis. We, we have bone density problems. And when people get older and they live off the grid and they fall down, they break hips, right? And so, you know, exercise when you're living off the grid is not just about being outside and doing your, your yard work. It really is taking some valuable time and exercising, <laughs> being on a bike, um, going for a brisk walk, lifting some weights, um, really putting that effort forth. And then, of course, our, our diet, our diet, our diet. You know, we have quite the opportunity to eat healthy and off the grid. We have probably more of an opportunity to eat healthy. And then yet we choose not to. And I know there are food addictions out there. I, I get it. But that's why, even for me, I just, I have to, I have to look at things very differently with even what I take into my body. And because I love Jesus and he gave me this body and he really is, he's so merciful. Part of, part of my health is really recognizing that I have like a duty to take care of me. So um, I'm going to put in my mouth what God created. And if he didn't create it, I'm probably not going to put it in my mouth. And, and if I have problems with that, I'm really going to pray about that and, and see if, you know, whatever your higher power is, whatever, you know, if you don't have a higher power, that's fine. If you don't believe in Jesus, that's fine. But what about your partner? If your partner can help you, do it together. You know, if, if you are overweight and you know you got to lose a couple pounds, ask your partner to help you. You know, that's the other thing. When we live off the grid um, and we're married, it really needs to be you're on the same page and you have a partnership. If you don't, it's not going to work. 
because it's not just about our, our, our physical health, but it's also about our mental health also. And so if we're fighting all the time, or if there's just things that are unresolved in a marriage or in a partnership, you got to get those resolved. Because living off the grid can be hard. Creating a sustainable atmosphere can be hard. It's work. And you need two people on the same page. And so um, I guess in a way I'm kind of living proof. Um, I, uh, yeah, I was married for 24 years and we made it work. Um, we made it work. But in the end it was very difficult because I'll just be honest, he kind of checked out. And when he checked out emotionally, uh, of course the, the homestead was going to crumble. And so, yeah, so we have to, you know, really be mindful of our emotional health, our physical health, and all of that when we are, um, even when you're first looking at, okay, I'm going to leave the, the real world and I want to start this lifestyle, really check yourself and make sure all the boxes are being addressed before you go forward. Because if you're not healthy, you, it could be a stress on you living off the grid. If you're not emotionally stable with your, with your loved ones, it could be more of a strain than something really positive. So just, just be aware of those things and, um, address them before. And if you're in it right now, the, the good thing is we can always start tomorrow. We can always start today. Um, that's the good thing about life is we don't have to live in our past. We can turn over a new leaf like now. Awesome. Go ahead and stop.